Look at how quickly I'm going to melt him. I'm going to melt through him too. Watch this. And he's dead. Are you sure you want to fire at me? I'll show you fire. Okay, so recently I was trying to find the best build for the Favnir. And I think I may have actually stumbled upon something here. Uh, this was actually more by accident. Uh, but I was running this build with Ultimate Igniters. And I couldn't believe just how much damage output this was doing. Uh, not just to regular robots like Archos. I'm talking about Titans too. So we're going to jump into two games. And then for the ones who are interested, I'm going to go through the entire setup right at the end. So make sure you watch until the end. And uh, you guys can let me know what you think. Or is anyone else running a build like this? Because I'm actually surprised I don't see more players running this build. It is insanely good. Okay, so they have uh, two Archos. This guy just used his ability. Oops, I kind of got in his way there. I'm going to try to... Well, look what I'm doing to that Archo. I mean, doesn't that kind of explain everything? We just wiped him out. That was an Archo, by the way. So I'm going to back up here. We are taking quite a bit of damage. I think they might have another Archo. Yeah, I think that one guy... I think they have an Archo. Okay, so we have a Typhon. This guy's going to get melted. I'm not joking. When I say this is a deadly build, look what I'm doing to these guys. Isn't that crazy? You know what I might do actually for the second game? Because I know players are going to jump to the conclusion that, well, it's because, you know, I'm using ultimate igniters, which do uh, actually, you know, they do more damage. But I'm pretty sure I could probably do a pretty good job even with regular igniters. So we're going to just push the uh, the bridge here. I'm going to try to get this bridge. And oh my gosh, if they make like this Archo, he just made a mistake because he's going to get melted. Look at how quickly I'm going to melt him. This isn't even funny. There's another Archo up top here. I'm going to melt through him too. Watch this. And he's dead. We have Living Legend right now. That's with a Favnir, guys. Oh, hi. <laughs> this guy landed. He's going to get melted, too. He just got out of there. He got flame broiled. Oh, no. The Stagon's going to get melted, too. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Um. Yep. Living Legend. And we have an Archer in front of us. He's going to get melted, too. I'm just busy reloading here. And he got melted too. That's probably the fourth one. They drop in there. Okay, so we have a Titan here. But it doesn't matter. He got melted as well. And he's gone. I need a heal. Okay, we have another Archo. Hold on. And can we get him? And another archo has gone. Living legend. How many archers have we killed? Probably like four or five? I'm trying to heal here. Guys, just think about it. That is one Favnir. <laughs> it's kind of pretty crazy if you ask me. Let me drop in with my angler. This is another build that I've been messing around with. You guys have seen this. Um, you know, when I did that one live stream recently... Um, these weapons on uh, this angler aren't even new weapons. They're the uh, blast shotguns. But I found it uh, very effective though. He's almost dead. He is dead. Ah, oh, I tried to get that loot. Okay, let me drop in with the, uh, the crisis. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to see more of that uh, Favnir build. Now, like I said, I'm going to run the uh, regular igniters in the second game. Uh, just for that comparison, because I'm really kind of curious uh, to see if uh, it works with regular igniters. You know, when I test something, I want to test it different uh, scenarios. Oh my gosh, that guy's going to get smoked.
I'm just going to get this beacon here. Uh, they have a... Uh... Oh my gosh, he just got smoked. I'm trying to charge up my, um, my mothership. So you guys might notice I'm using the mute mothership. I'm hoping to do a video actually on this mute mothership tomorrow. Uh, before I start doing the newer content, uh, because we should have the update by then. Uh, but let's see how we did here. Because that Favnia was melting through everything. You know, I melted through that Heimdall pretty quickly, but this is how we did. For this Favnia, I don't have the Ultimate Igniters. I have the uh, Freedom Igniters, so the regular version, just the limited edition version of it. I'm not trying to figure out what this guy is in here. Um, okay, we have a lot of players on this side, but I am kind of melting them. So we got two of them. <laughs> they underestimated the flames. Yeah, that guy's gonna go. He's trying to get me on that angle. Oh man, you shouldn't have done that. You should. <laughs> yeah, you definitely should not have done that. Definitely. Let's go towards the uh, the gap here. We need to get some beacons. Okay, let's get that uh, beacon here. There's another guy behind us. I think my teammate should try to go for the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That guy just got melted. I need to uh, reload here. We have another victim <laughs> coming around the corner. Wait, is that like a hellbin or something? Hold on. Let me just use the uh, my mothership. That should help. Oh my gosh, that guy's just getting roasted. Godlike! Wait, what's back here? Doesn't matter. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, that's a... Uh... Oh, jeez. Never mind. That was a revenant. He got roasted too. Oh, that's a farm near. Oh my gosh, this guy's getting roasted. Can we get him? He's gone. Living legend. Keep in mind, guys, this is not like ultimate igniters here. We've got regular. Oh my gosh, he's gone too. I wonder if I can lock him down with my mothership. Not that it was really needed, but that Typhon might be gone too. I'm trying to get him around the corner there with the splash. Are you sure you want to fire at me? I'll show you fire. <laughs> He's jumping away. I'd be jumping away too. Those flames are pretty hot. Hot, 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 hot. Bye. Living legend. What about this guy? Oh, jeez. This guy wants to be roasted too. You better run, dude. He's roasted. He's gone. Bye. Living legend. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. The flames. Oh, jeez. Okay, wait. I got him with the mute mothership. But it's not the mute that's going to be doing the damage. It's... Oh, wait. He's lucky. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, my teammate. He pushed me into a line of fire. But, man, that was a really good run with that. Uh, let's drop in with our looch. This is the looch that I ran the other day during my live stream. It was kind of funny because some players were like, that's never going to work. But I just kept on marching straight for the enemy through Yamanta map, the middle. Okay, let's just do that. I don't want to fire at him because he has his reflector shield up. Now we hit him. He's gone. What is this guy doing? I hit him with the with the mute, so oh no, now he's getting raised by a Newton. Wow. Gone. Man, this uh this Sirius. Look at that. He's just c collecting all the beacons. We should probably stop him. Man, my 
<laughs> my luchador is crazy they have a they have a newton back there too i see in the background what a kid okay i'm gonna hit that player back there so the newton i hit with my mute i'm just pushing onto uh, this beacon here i want to get rid of the sirius because well sirius <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to target this guy over here in front of me. Go for the, the Newton first. Actually, you know what? Let's hit him with the, uh, the mothership. Let's deal with these guys over here. Oh, thank you. Probably not a good idea to do that. Because now I can actually hit him. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't exactly the best move. Man, I don't want to get bullied by this kid. He's gone. I hit that player there with the mute, so now he can't mute. He can't move. And we should be able to get him. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, so it disables him, and he couldn't move. Because it's uh, lockdown. What is it? Lockdown, EMP, and also blinding. I'm still hitting this guy. He's gonna... Yep. <laughs> I think I have them all in their spawn now. Yep. Man, someone just threw the kitchen sink at him. Let's go for the type on first. This way he can't... Uh, he can't EMP me. Man, this Luchiro <laughs> just doesn't die. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, I was actually going to wait until the crisis fired. And then I was going to hit him with the uh, the mothership. But man, that was a crazy run. Even with the regular igniters or limited edition version. So this is how we did. Okay, so for the ones who are interested in this build, this is pretty much the build in full. So for the first game, I used the ultimate igniters. So a couple of stats here for the ultimate igniter. So uh, take note of the damage here too. So 1850. And for the second game, I used the uh, Freedom Igniter, which is the limited edition version of the regular Igniter. Uh, this one has 1102. So the ultimate is obviously uh, doing more damage. Uh, but you saw in the second game, I mean, it's still effective. Uh, we have one nuclear amplifier, two immune amplifiers, unstable conduit. Uh, in all honesty, you could use advanced repair. Uh, you only really need one nuclear amplifier for this build because uh, flamethrowers charge up the nuclear amplifier very quickly. Um, so I went with uh, immune amplifiers to give me more speed and also more health because the Favni is kind of slow. Um, the Kestrel drone helps with the speed side of things. Uh, also, it gives you more damage. And uh, also, it restores uh, some great damage as well, which is important. Okay, so we have that. And, uh, you know, the pilot, Raphael, this is designed for flamethrowers uh, if you aren't aware. Uh, basically it increases the area of effect radius by 30 percent and i think the biggest part about this build the daredevil favnia okay so this skill over here is going to increase damage by 18.75 percent uh, if you have this skill maxed out um the only downside is you can't fly but uh you know in the current manner i don't think you want to fly with the favnia you're going to get uh, wiped out very quickly um so that's why i have this skill over here and because i'm on the ground all the time um, I decided to stack uh, resistance and durability skills. So you see Invulnerable Raider, Adamant Guardian, Stubborn Warrior. And uh, we also have the Survivor here, which is going to uh, increase the damage output even further. So that's why I was doing so much damage, uh, you know, with my Favnir. Now, in terms of the Mothership, I was using the Mute Mothership, which I'm going to uh, do a video on tomorrow. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in this Mothership. Uh, but in all honesty, you could use the Paladin because I was trying it out with the Paladin. I only actually got the mute uh, on this account uh, yesterday. So uh, yeah, that's the reason why I was using it. Uh, but you could use the Paladin. It would work actually even better, I think, uh, in terms of re you know restoring your great damage. It works uh, a lot better, I think. Um, but this is really good for like if you're disabling things like the Archos. Uh, but yeah, let me know if uh, anyone's actually running the Flamethrower Favnir because this build is very, very good. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.